You must have seen in the news a young athlete collapsing during a game or someone in their 30s suddenly passing away due to cardiac arrest. Shocking, right? We always think heart disease happens only to older people. But the truth is, sudden cardiac deaths are happening more and more among youngsters today. Why does this happen? And is it written in your genes? Let's explore. In India, we are seeing a disturbing rise in sudden cardiac deaths among people below 40. Healthy looking, active, successful people gone in minutes. Families are left asking, how can this happen without warning? While lifestyle factors play a big role, science has shown that our genes often carry hidden risk for heart rhythm problems and structural heart conditions. For example, some people carry gene variants like SCN5A, this is the name of a gene, or MYH7, which can cause dangerous arrhythmias or weak heart muscles. Most people don't even know they carry these genes. Now, carrying a risky gene doesn't mean you are doomed. Think of it like this, your genes load the gun, but your lifestyle pulls the trigger. For example, extreme workouts without proper recovery can trigger sudden heart failure in people with these genetic variants. High stress, poor sleep, smoking or even dehydration can flip the switch. This is where epigenetics comes in. Epigenetics means lifestyle factors that can decide whether your risky genes stay silent or get activated. So what can we do? Know your risks. Genetic and metabolic testing today can tell you if you are carrying variants linked to cardiac issues. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Second is preventive lifestyle modifications. If you have a risk variant, a genetic variant, a tailored lifestyle plan can protect you. That means the right diet, stress management and workout intensity designed for your specific gene profile. Third is early warning signals. Never ignore chest discomfort, unusual breathlessness or dizziness during workouts. These can be warning signs, especially if your family has a history of sudden cardiac events. I have personally seen many people who believed they were fit, but were unknowingly living with these silent risk factors, or I call it as the gene variants. When they identified the genetic triggers early, they were able to make changes and prevent a tragedy. The most powerful message I want to leave you with is this. Sudden cardiac death is not completely random and is not always inevitable. With the right knowledge, you can actually take control. Imagine knowing your genetic risks today and building a lifestyle that keeps those risks silent for life. That's not science fiction. It's a possibility right now. In fact, at VRoots, we have been working on programs that combine your genetic data and metabolic data with lifestyle design so people can live longer, healthier and safer lives. So the next time you hear about a young person collapsing, don't just call it fate. Remember, genes may set the stage, but lifestyle writes the script. And the good news is you can choose how your story unfolds. If you found this video valuable, share it with someone you care about. It might just save a life. So don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you can stay updated with the latest.